Kahala, Yaha, Bashim, Yahashai, Bashem, Rapak, Radash, double honor to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, and Shalom to the one third Yashabrala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, I want to go ahead and get into the 10 plagues of Egypt that happened during the time of the Exodus when us Israelites, the Negro, Latinos, and Native Indians were slaves in the land of Egypt. Now, just as there was plagues during that captivity, there are the similar plagues hitting the land of our current captivity, the land of Babylon the Great, also known as America in today's times. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show that these 10 plagues are re-emerging right now with the exception of one, the last, the death of the firstborn, which I'm going to explain how that's going to be fulfilled at the end of this lesson. But let's get started. These exoduses are recorded or the plagues in the Exodus are recorded in Exodus 7 and 14. And Jehovah Ba'ashem Yahushai said unto Moses, Pharaoh's heart is hardened. He refuses to let the people go. Get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth thou unto the river, and thou shalt stand by the river's brink against he, against he come. And the rod which was torn turned to a serpent shalt thou take in thine hand and sh thou shalt say unto him Yahweh Bashem Yahushai God of the Hebrews hath sent me unto thee saying let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness and behold hitherto thou wouldest not hear thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in this thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in mine hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. This was recorded this year in Delaware. Now, the reasoning behind the reddening of the bodies of water doesn't really matter. It fulfills the prophecy, be it ink, a bacteria, actual blood, it fulfills the prophecy of the rivers being turned or smited into uh, blood. Here's uh, something in China that happened this year as well. Because these plagues um, are now around the world you're going to start seeing these things going around mostly where the Israelites are at this here is a river that uh, um, turned to blood over in Brazil there's another one in Northern Ireland and these are all current year in 2019 this is a Russian river that also experienced the change to blood red and the last was in Africa called the Linthropy uh, River. It also was turned to a uh, blood red. The next play, recorded in Exodus 8 and 1. And Jehovah Ba'ashem Yahushai spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus says Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs, and the rivers shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thine house, and into thy bedchambers, and upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servants, and upon thy people, and into the ovens, and into thy uh, neat, kneading troughs, and the frogs shall come up both in thee and upon thy people and upon all thy servants. There's been a recent uh, invasion of frogs in Florida 
and other places in America, but Florida has uh, experienced this the, with the biggest. It tells you here, Florida is currently clogged with these giant poisonous turd toads. And it kind of just goes through and it explains how basically Florida is just inundated with all these toads, frogs that are, have been invading these uh, areas. Now remember, these are poisonous, so you can't even uh, uh, chew them up or use them for, for landfills like that. You can't really attack them because they're basically they're poisonous, so you're going to get messed up yourself. So as you can see, they're all over people's properties. They're uh, swarming uh, house, uh, households, you know, inside of people's uh, um, toilets, for example, right? Let's get on to the next uh, place since we've got a few to cover. This is Exodus 8 and 16. And Yahweh Bashem Mount Shai saith unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Egypt. There's been reported this year, uh, here in July, it says super strength lice are becoming immune to over the counter remedies. You see, there's been an outbreak of lice hitting here in America or Babylon the Great. It tells you, uh, it says, parents in Australia are bugging out over super strength lice, which require them to spend hundreds of dollars. And actually, this here is in, in Australia, but um, they hit this, but also it's hitting uh, Britain and also here in America. So it tells you, and then when you go, when you look here, the Lice Clinic of America has reported, it says, Lice Clinics of America reports lice activity increased 56% in Los Angeles area. And I can attest to this, man. It's, uh, even my dog this year uh, has had a lot more uh, fleas than, than before, right? And so I went and took her to, uh, to the vet, and the vet even told me that this year has been really bad and that a lot of dogs... Uh, he's been seeing a lot more dogs than normal this year. So again, this is just because of the super lice that have come into Babylon to uh, plague it. Also, these uh, these gnats, which um, are pretty much the same thing as it tells you here. It says lice and gnats, right? These were pretty much the same thing. But it tells you, Southern Minnesota gnats invasion presents threats to chicken. And large livestock, and that's these, these horses that are getting infected. It tells you here it says nets uh, cause weight loss and stress for any animals with their bites, and, and by gathering around the eyes and in air holes, uh, the Manicoto uh, Free Press reported. Right, um, and it just kind of goes on and just tells them how this farmer has been experiencing these problems with the lice. And also tells you how uh, here it says Twin Cities is currently dealing with a gnat problem. The metro area is getting blanketed by biters. Right. So over there in um, uh, in, in uh, Twin Cities, uh, they're actually hit, getting hit up by these uh, gnats again over there too. You can just pause the video if you want to read this. What's basically happening over here in Minnesota? And then on to the next uh, play, Exodus 8 and 21. Else, if thou wilt not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies upon thee and upon thy servants and upon thy people and unto thy houses. And the houses of the Egyptians shall be full of swarms of flies and also the ground uh, whereon they are. What's what what's been plaguing the White House for these last two years or these last two administrations? From the current administration of Trump to the last administration of Obama, the White House is infested with flies. Right? And let's go ahead and read. It says, uh, here, let's get rid of this historic pest issue, but let's read this. Our last two presidents have have much in common, but they have both struggled with one mutual winged enemy, the fly. 
There are multiple YouTube videos of Barack Obama swatting the large persistent insects during interviews. And that's right. And that's because this guy was a damn demon. Right? He did more for the uh, LGBT movement than he did for uh, the Jake community. And the thing is, is, he's not even from, he's not even an Israelite. He would be a Hamite. But here's all these videos of him being just plagued by these flies. He says, Donald Trump has complained about the flies of missed tours around the West Wing. A sampling of the White House work orders from 2017 included install two bug lights in the W.W. Kellyanne Conway office. Right? Because these because these devils are being bugged by it, man. They're being bugged by these bugs. Right? And it just shows you here. It says the invasion. And then also, uh, there's been huge invasion of mayflies. Now, mayflies, if you don't know, these are... Uh, huge, huge flies, man. They're like the size of a, of a walnut, man. And says, it is so big, the bloom is lighting up weather radars. So let's take a look at this. Uh, look at this, man. This over Cleveland. It tells, this big plume is all the mayflies that are affecting people. Now, here's another one. It tells you um, in the Western Basin, you can see all the mayflies activity. Uh, showing up right? and Here's just some of them here Just showing how uh, they're just infesting all over the place and Then on to the next play Exodus 9 and 2 for if thou refuse to let them go and will hold them still Behold, the hand of Yahweh Shemeshai is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be very grievous moraine, basically plagues, um, and the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. Right? And if when you look at the recent flooding that's been happening, tells you here out of the beef magazine itself catastrophic Nebraska flooding hits ranchers hard cost estimates at 1 billion this Nebraska family see their hundred plus year old farmstead uh, pummeled by flood livestock buried in ice right look at this man these are the plagues just falling on the livestock right look at this huge uh, ice boulders covering up these uh, farmers uh, 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 farm man and look at this this dead cattle and I'm sure there's sheep in here and everything right and besides it hitting here in America it also devastated over there in uh, Australia and Queensland and there's a there's a devastating um, flood after uh, um, there was a I think a drought and then after that there was a massive flood basically two years worth of, of, of uh, rain fell like in two weeks and basically he destroyed all these cattle of, of these Edomites, man, or these Egyptians, or who, you know, so-called white people today who are biblically known as Edomites, who, who draw their lineage all the way back to the to, uh, Ptolemy uh, era of Egypt, because again, Ptolemy was one of the four generals of Alexander the Great who took over Egypt and, and claimed to be the original Egyptians, man. Right, but here's their uh, cattle being smited, just like it wasn't when they were, in, uh, just like the original Egyptians who were in Egypt's cattle were smited. Now on to the next play. And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you hands full of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it towards the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. And they shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a Boil breaking forth with lands upon a man and upon beast and throughout all the land of Egypt. And what's been hitting America? This unknown flesh eating bacteria that has killed a few people already and which is uh, untreatable through antibiotics, right? This is that new plague going around. Uh, Babylon the Great here in America, right? 
and here's and here's a map showing where the active locations have come around from San Diego to Magnolia Beach in Texas right not even in in uh by the beach man also inland Greenland River Kentucky man you know <clears throat> on to the next place and the Lord said unto Moses stretch forth thine hand towards heaven and there may be hell in all the land of Egypt upon man and upon beast and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt now this prophet this plague here ultimately will will play uh, play out when the nukes uh, are shot onto America and, and burn it up but there's also been recent <clears throat> fires that have been burning up America too namely here in California we let this play Let's read this article. It says California's wildfires are 500% larger due to climate change. Now, there's no such thing as climate change, man. Basically, the Lord is making changes throughout the world, which is modifying the climate. It's going to happen regardless of human interaction or not. This is a, coming from a, a higher power. So this is just showing you that uh, that fires have increased throughout the land. Now, when you go back oh, to 1990, you can see that there's been an upward tick in the amount of fires and the size of them until 2016, right? So, this isn't just a, a, a happenstance, right? A one-year thing. This is a progressive increase in the burning of Babylon. On to the next play. Exodus 10 and 3. And Moses and Aaron came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus says Yahweh Bashim al God of the Hebrews, How long wilt thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast, and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped which remaineth unto you from the hail and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field and this was a fairly popular uh, plague that hit you recently had in the land of las vegas which is a copy of, uh, of egypt especially with the uh, luxor pyramid you had a, a massive infestation of, of locusts man right and then not only there in uh <clears throat> in, in las vegas did you have all these uh, uh locusts infest infest it there but also in saudi arabia at the uh at the uh, site of the mecca right where the uh, kaaba uh, a square which is a, a worship to Saturn or, or to Nimrod and his wife uh, Ishtar right Samaramis but there's been a plague of, uh, of, of uh, grasshoppers or locusts hitting this area too and that's uh, and that right there can explain it can be explained because you see the top leaders of Saudi Arabia or the UAE most of them are, are actually Edomites right that that back it during the time of Zebedai Sevi converted to uh, Islam and basically uh, and they already basically were joined onto the uh, to the Arab right all the way since the time of the Nebataeans but let's get on to the next play and the and Yahweh Bashim al Shai said unto Moses stretch out thine hand towards the heaven that they may may be darkness over the land of Egypt even darkness which may be felt 
and there's been a massive amount of, uh, of outages this year alone, right? You had this current outage in New York just this year, I believe in July, right? That took place, right? It affected New Jersey and New York, right? The, the capital of Babylon the Great. Then you had this uh, outage over in Dallas, Texas, which uh, affected over 350,000 people, right? And then probably the most, uh, um, wasn't reported on, but you had uh, 48 million people uh, in Argentina, was, was, which is the entire uh, country of Argentina, went black, right? This is what was reported. The entire country in Argentina went black. Right? That's the uh, tribe of, uh, of Asher right there, man. And then the most politically popular one, Venezuela, right? Even though we know it was Esau who pulled the plugs, it ultimately still fulfilled prophecy by plunging this tribe, uh, this Israelite tribe, which would be again the tribe of Asher, into darkness, right? And then you had people over in Indonesia. You had 100 million people affected by this power outage, right? So again, there's darkness uh, uh, spreading all around the world. So not only just physical, but also uh, spiritual, man, with all the wickedness that's coming out right now, with all these satanic rituals and whatnot, man. This is all, again, just the plagues playing out in current time. On to the next uh, plague. This is Exodus 11 and 4. And Moses says, Thus says Yahweh Barashim Shai, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of the beast, and there shall be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against the man or beast, that they may know how that Yahweh Bashim Shai doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Right? And what is this plague uh, referring to, right? The firstborn? Well, this is what it's referring to. The firstborn of, of, I, of Isaac, right? Who would be Esau. And when I say Esau, I'm referring to his descendants, the Edomites. They will be the firstborn uh, um, who dies with the rounding up of the, uh, the plagues which are smiting uh, Babylon the Great. Now, in this again, because Edom is spread all around the world, you're going to have a major destruction. And ultimately, that's what's described in Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the day come, saith Yahweh Bashim Shai, that it shall no more be said that Yahweh Bashim Shai liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but Yahweh Bashim Shai liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all of the lands whether he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their their land that I gave unto their fathers, right? And that's what's happening. That's what's going to happen is when that day of destruction comes, when the when the, when the uh, one third of all the earth is put out, which is ultimately going to be the seed of Satan, right? Which is going to be the descendants of Edom. That's going to be the death the death of those firstborn, or what's represented by the firstborn. Right, and then this prophecy will be fulfilled here. This is Zechariah 2 and 6. Ho ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith Yahweh Bashim Shai, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, saith Yahweh Bashim Shai. Deliver thy, thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon, which is America, and for thus saith Yahweh Bashim Shai of hosts. After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, 
right? And this is why the Lord is going to punish all the world. Because remember, the Israelites, who are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, since the beginning of the Bible, we have been in captivity to all the other 17 nations uh, in existence, right? And right now, we are under the last captivity, under the last nation to be to be judged, which is the nation of Edom, or the so-called Caucasians. Right? Let's continue. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hands upon them, and they shall be shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai of hosts hath sent me. So, hopefully, this video was edifying. Hopefully, it shows you how the plagues of the past are are cyclical and they're happening again. And this land of Egypt again, which America is spiritually known as the land of Egypt and Sodom. Which is why the Lord is replaying these plagues on this land and on this earth again, man. So, with all that, I want to go and give praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhah, Kudash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.